Ibrahim, Ottoman Turkish, comma Turkish, Ibrahim, the 5th of November 1615, the 18th of August 1648, was the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire from 1640 until 1648. He was born in Constantinople the son of Ahmed I by Valid Sultan Kadin Fendi Kosum Sultan, an ethnic Greek originally named Anastasia. He was later called Ibrahim the Mad, Turkish, Delhi Ibrahim by 20th century historians due to his reputed mental condition. One of the most notorious Ottoman sultans, Ibrahim spent all of his early life in the close confinement of the caves before succeeding his brother Morad for 1623-40, in 1640. Four of his brothers had been executed by Morad, and Ibrahim lived in terror of being the next to die. His life was only saved by the intercession of Kosum Sultan mother of Ibrahim and Morad. After Morad's death, Ibrahim was left the sole surviving prince of the dynasty. Upon being asked by Grand Vizier Kimanx Kara Mustafa Pasha to assume the Sultanate, Ibrahim suspected Morad was still alive and plotting to trap him. It took the combined persuasion of Kosum and the Grand Vizier, and personal examination of his brother's dead body to make Ibrahim accept the throne. Kara Mustafa Pasha remained as Grand Vizier during the first four years of Ibrahim's reign, keeping the empire stable. With the Treaty of Szczyn, March 15, 1642, he renewed peace with Austria and during the same year recovered Azov from the Cossacks. Kara Mustafa also stabilized the currency with coinage reform, sought to stabilize the economy with a new land survey reduced the number of janissaries, removed non-contributing members from the state payrolls, and curbed the power of disobedient provincial governors. During these years, Ibrahim showed concern with properly ruling the empire, as shown in his handwritten communications with the Grand Vizier. Kara Mustafa in turn wrote a memo on public affairs to coach his inexperienced master. Ibrahim's replies to Kara Mustafa's reports show he had actually received a good education. Ibrahim often traveled in disguise, inspecting the markets of Istanbul and ordering the Grand Vizier to correct any problems he observed. Decadence and crisis. Ibrahim was often distracted by recurring headaches and attacks of physical weakness, perhaps caused by the trauma of his early years. Since he was the only surviving male member of the Ottoman dynasty, Ibrahim was encouraged by his mother Kosum Sultan to distract himself with harem girls and soon fathered three future sultans, Memd IV, Suleiman II, and Ahmed II. The distractions of the harem allowed Kosum Sultan to gain power and rule in his name, yet even she fell victim to the Sultan's disfavor and left the imperial palace. Ibrahim came under the influence of concubines and favorites such as the charlatan Sinsi Hocker, who pretended to cure Sultan's physical ailments. The latter, along with his allies Silad Ayuzhafuga and Sultan Zaid Memd Pasha, enriched themselves with bribes and eventually usurped enough power to secure the execution of Grand Vizier Kara Mustafa. Since Ihoka became Kadi Aska, High Judge, of Anatolia, Yuzufaga was made Kapudan Pasha, Grand Admiral, and Sultan Zaid Memd became Grand Vizier. In 1645, Maltese Corsor seized a ship carrying high-status pilgrims to Mecca. The enraged Sultan considered the extermination of all Christians in his empire, but under pressure from his ministers the idea was reduced to Roman Catholic priests before being abandoned. Instead, all the Christian ambassadors were placed under house arrest. Since the pirates had docked in Crete, Kapud Nuzhev Pasha encouraged Ibrahim to invade the island. This began a long war with Venice that lasted 24 years. Crete would not completely fall under Ottoman domination until 1669. In spite of the decline of Lazarenissima, Venetian ships won victories throughout the Aegean, capturing Tenedos, 1646, and blockading the Dardanelles. Kapud Nuzhev enjoyed temporary success in conquering Cania, starting a jealous rivalry with the Grand Vizier that led to his execution, January 1646 and the Grand Vizier's deposition, December 1645. With his cronies in power, Ibrahim's extravagant tendencies went unchecked. He raised eight concubines to the favored position of Harski, royal consort, granting each riches and land. After legally marrying the concubine Teli Harski, 
He ordered the palace of Ibrahim Pasha to be carpeted in sable furs and given to her deposition and execution. Mass discontent was caused by the Venetian blockade of the Dardanelles, which created scarcities in the capital, and the imposition of heavy taxes during a war economy to pay for Ibrahim's whims. In 1647 the Grand Vizier Salah Hasha, Qasim Sultan, and the Sayyid Islam Abdurrahim Effendi unsuccessfully plotted to depose the Sultan and replace him with one of his sons. Saleh Pasha was executed and Qasim Sultan was exiled from the harem. The next year the Janissaries and the members of the Ulema revolted. On August 8, 1648, corrupt Grand Vizier Ahmed Pasha was strangled and torn to shreds by an angry mob, gaining the posthumous nickname He's a Par, Thousand Pieces. On the same day, Ibrahim was seized and imprisoned in Tropka Palace. Kosum gave consent to her son's fall, saying in the end he will leave neither you nor me alive. We will lose control of the government. The whole society is in ruins. Have him removed from the throne immediately. Ibrahim's seven-year-old son Memd was made Sultan. The new Grand Vizier, Sofu Memd Pasha, petitioned the Sheikh al-Islam for a fatwa sanctioning Ibrahim's execution. It was granted with the message if there are two caliphs, kill one of them. Qasim also gave her consent. Two executioners were sent for, one being the chief executioner who served under Ibrahim. As officials watched from a palace windows, Ibrahim was strangled on August 18, 1648. He became the second regicide in the history of the Ottoman Empire. There is an apocryphal story that the Sayyid Islam joined the rebellion because of Ibrahim's fabled decision to drown all 280 members of his harem, but at least one of Ibrahim's concubines survived him. This was Turhan Hattis, who was responsible three years later for the execution of Qasim then serving as regent for Terhan's son Memd IV. This story was probably circulated after the coup to further blacken Ibrahim's name. Personal life Ibrahim's most prominent concubines were the Ukrainian Terhan Hattis, Kadia, mother of Memd IV, Sally Hadilasub, mother of Suleiman II, and Hattis, Kadia, Muazes Sultan, mother of Ahmed II. At one point Ibrahim took a great liking to the infant son of a slave woman to the extent of preferring the unrelated child to his son Memd. Terhan, Memd's mother, grew extremely jealous and vented her anger to Ibrahim, who flew into a rage and grabbed Memd from Terhan's arms and threw him into a pool. Memd would have drowned if a servant had not rescued him. He was left with a permanent scar on his forehead.